talk about traits of a determined salesperson. Traits of a determined salesperson. Number one is resilience. They are able to bounce back from rejection and remain motivated. But now, what is resilience? It is a capacity to withstand or recover quickly from difficulty or tough moments. You all standing here today are going out there to make sales. And one thing that you need is resilience. Because we already know that in sales, we have three types of personnel. We have the negative personnel, we have the positive, and we have the passive. They are not just going to welcome you like that because you are bringing your products to sell to them. They are not just going to say, oh, you are welcome, I kept this money here waiting for you to buy. Sometimes when you meet them, they are going to hit you hard. They are, going to, they are going to give you a lot of negativity. But how do you take the negative? How do you handle it? And how fast do you recover yourself back from that moment? Because there are personnel that the way they will talk to you, you might not have the courage to continue again. But a good salesperson who is determined has the ability to withstand back, have the ability to be resilient, like you wake up back from that shock. Because some people, negativity is like shock. When someone is negative, you're like, really? This thing happened? It happens. That is why you must build that spirit of resilience in you. That spirit of staying firm. Even when they're negative, you still stay firm and continue. Because even if you give up today, no one will give you what you're looking for. The negativity are there to play their part. The positive people are there to play their part. As well as the passive are there to play their part. So that's one quality that you need to resilient, ability to stay resilient. Number two, goal oriented. Determined salespeople, they are goal oriented. When I talk about goal oriented, they set clear, achievable sales target and they work diligently to accomplish them. You don't just say today I'm going to sell. How many pieces of products do you want to sell today? They are oriented. They say goals that they can achieve them. You don't just say today, I'm going out there, I'm going to sell. What are you going to sell? How many products do you want to sell today? How many products? You need to be oriented. And for you to be oriented, you must know why you even need to sell those number of products. I started by saying that break down your goals into 12 months, into uh, 4 weeks, into 7 days. So, you must come to that part whereby you are very clear about what you want to achieve. The purpose of that goal. Why should I make 10 pieces today? What is the importance of me making 10 pieces? How important is it to me for me to make 10 pieces? You must come to that part. You are very clear. I'm not just going to say I'm going to sell, but I'm very specific that today I want to sell 10 items. That is my goal. I don't just want to buy and sell, but I want to sell 10 items. Very clear. Number three, adaptability. They can adapt to every customer need and provide solution to their problems. As a determined salesperson, you should be able to adapt to every customer need. Sometimes when you meet customers, one thing that will make you understand what they want is when you're listening. Because when you meet a customer and you're presenting your products to that customer, they always say, don't you have something for waste pain? It means that is a problem they are trying to target to you. And you should be able to easily understand that at that moment, this is what they want. You leave what we are showing them and go for what they are asking you for. You should adapt. Don't say, no, me, I have a patent. I have a patent. So this person is the one that has to follow my patent. No, you are to adapt to their needs. When they ask you something, automatically stop what you are presenting. Go and look for what they are asking you for and present it to them. You cannot say, no, I have a patent. As I started by saying good morning, you have to list it until I say good morning, good afternoon, good evening, before I continue. No. You need to adapt to their need and bring solution to every uh, problem they, talk, they, they, they bring to you. So if somebody says, I'm having eczema, they believe that you can provide them solution. They believe in you and you should be able to provide them that solution. So you need to adapt to every environment that you find yourself. And now other adaptability, when you go to pitch in the village areas, I'm also pitching in town. These are two different pitch. Yeah. You don't expect that the way you pitch to people in town and they easily adapt or they understand the language. It's the same way when you go and pitch in the village, they also understand and adapt. It's not going to be like that. If you go to the village, adapt to that 
environment, adapt to the mentalities there, and work according to how they want. When you go to, for example, you go to Mo Moliko, if you're pitching in Moliko, they say, where you pitch? Yeah. It's not the same way you pitch when you go to Mutengene. It's not the same way you pitch when you go to My16. Adaptability, you must adapt to every environment as a salesperson and be able to provide solutions to every problem. Number four, quality of a determined salesperson. They are self-motivated. They are driven to success and don't require constant supervision in order for them to stay focused. You cannot leave your house. You come here today and you need somebody to follow you up for you to attain your objective. Then why do you leave your house? You need to develop self-motivation. I am leaving my house because I want to make money. I don't need somebody to come behind me to see whether I am working or not. Self-motivation has to come automatically. I am standing here today because I want to make, is it called ends meet? So therefore, I don't need constant supervision. You don't need your director to be behind you all the time telling you go like this. You don't need your manager to be behind you all the time telling you to go like this. You need that self-motivation so that you can bring resource to the problems that you have. So as a salesperson, every time somebody negative, you feel demotivated, and then you are waiting for another person to come and encourage you. No, you are not determined. You are only determined if you are self-motivated and you understand what you want for yourself, you go for it. Even in the midst of tough times, you don't forget that day. I must be self-motivated. I always say this, nobody will give you what you want in this life, nobody. That's why you need self-motivation so that it can drive you to achieve your dreams and your goals in life. Number five for now, which is my last point, excellent communication. Every determined salesperson has excellent communication skill. When I talk about excellent communication skills, I'm like, me, I'm just trying, you know, I'm just manager. I mean, excellent communication skills. <coughs> they can effectively communicate the value of every product to their potential customers. Ah, I want green tea. I heard that your green tea works like this. You're like, oh, really? Hmm. You know me, I'm still learning the product, so hmm. I don't even know that's how the thing is working on. And the person's like, every time, even when a customer corrects you and say that, this green tea, they say it counteracts the effect of cancer. Is it true? Say yes, sir. When you take it like this, like this, like that's how it works. You might not know that function, but once the person is telling from experience, you automatically accept. And then what happens? You flow with the person. You don't stop by telling the person, ah, really? Mr. I don't even know. You know, I'm still learning. I'm still trying to learn. Automatically, you are frustrated that person. Because the person believes in you. But your communication skill is killing the morals of that person. So, as a good salesperson, you must have excellent communication skill. Some of you struggle every day to conclude a product, to conclude a pitch. Why? Because of poor communication skills. You pitch somebody, at the end of the day, the person is willing to pay 10,000 francs for a product. But the conclusion which involves your communication skill is poor. And once your conclusion is poor, they can't pay. People will only pay for value. People will not buy your product because the product looks so beautiful. I don't believe that people buy because your product is one package. I don't believe in that. <laughs> A product can be one package that has no value. I believe that people buy because of value. That is why if I am presenting my product to a customer, I don't present it because it comes inside like a beautiful carton. What if it rain wets that carton and it has no carton anymore? How will I sell the product? So I don't believe that people buy my product because it is beautiful, it comes in a nice carton. No, I believe that people buy my product because of the value I am giving them. Because of the functions of that product I'm telling them. And because of the way I believe that that product will work for them. They also see they believe in me and they believe in the product. So this morning I'm encouraging all of you, as you go out there, be resilient, be goal-oriented, be adaptable to every environment that you find yourself, be self-motivated, and be excellent in the way you communicate. All these skills, when you put them together, it will help you attain your daily objectives. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this kind of videos, please click the like button, subscribe, and also share with your friends and family. Leave a comment in the comment section. Let me know which part of this video you enjoy the most. And until now, we will see you in our next video. Bye.